look like both teams kind of struggled to score in the first periods. And uh, would you kind of attribute that on your side to this being the middle of six games in 10 day schedule? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it took us a mind for to get our legs kind of underneath us and then our minds in the same place as our bodies. So um, it was just a struggle. Uh, we were trying to push the, play, the pace and got to a point where it was like a, a frantic pace. Um, and then eventually we, we slowed down and we settled in. And then, Coach, on the flip side of that, we leave 61 points to the Pewis you have allowed all season. So what did you just see in this win in the first quarter? It was also some zone defense. So what did you kind of see from Atlanta on that end? Yeah, look, I think we continue to grow on that end, uh, grinding out wins. I think we have toughness. Uh, Leo came off and did a great job. I thought KT, but yeah, we're on the same page where we need to help. Um, you know, JJ, I thought she anchored the, the defence. I said that word again, anchored. The defence, um, again, well for us tonight. And, um, and our versatility, I think that's helping us. Thank you. Miles. Hey, Brianna, I wanted to follow up on Fifi's question there because you talked about pushing the pace. And despite having a similar number of turnovers to the Dream, you guys outscored Atlanta 14-4 to in points off turnovers and 17-6 to in fast break points. It felt like as a team you were looking to run tonight, looking to hit ahead, and all season long you've been more opportunistic in the open court. Is that kind of a uh, philosophy shift from last season to this year, an impact of the comfortability you share now coming back together? Or is it just a mixture of both? You mean just like pushing the pace? Yeah, it feels like you're running a lot more and more consistently yeah. this year. No, I mean, I think that we know that that's one area that we excel, especially um, when we can rebound, we get out and run. It's hard for other teams to match up and transition, and especially tonight knowing that, you know, whoever was – there, was, there seemed to be always someone open in the front court um, and just, just pushing that. And I think that, you know, when we have a good pace, we get into our offense quickly and, and it works well when we're moving and, and just not, not sta static. Static? Yeah, it's yeah. Static? Yeah. Good word. Thank you. We'll go over to Brian. Gravitational pull. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, um, Sandy, on the night you guys won the rebounding battle and won the matchup in the paint. How do you think your front court players were able to deter Atlanta and, and force them into difficult mid-range jumpers? Yeah, um, just that. I think there's a commitment um, to making sure that we're, we're winning the boards every single night. And I think JJ and Stewie are, are, post, are great post defenders and they contest well at the rim. Um, but Leo, I mean, just to get in there and, you know, obviously get nine rebounds for us, five on the offensive boards, that's probably something we haven't had a lot of and uh, that's going to help us as we move forward. But, um, you know, we always want to go in and, and obviously, um, you know, win the possession game, but make the rebounding is a part of it. And uh, we've got some, you know, I think Stewie's doing a great job of going to get boards. Thank you. And for Leo, on the night, you were all over the court and you made a lot of great plays on both sides of, sides of the ball. How do you think your confidence has grown each game you've played throughout the season? Um, I mean, uh, it grows from game to game, honestly. I'm starting to feel um, more comfortable um, with everybody on the court out there, more comfortable in the system, offensively and defensively. So um, just from game to game, I feel more comfortable. Thanks, guys. Safe travels. Jeff? Good evening, all. Congrats on the win. Leo, my first question is for you. When did you learn you were going to have a, an expanded role tonight? And how proud are you of the progress you've been able to make so far? Um, you know, I pretty much have the same approach to every game um, we go into. Um, just coming off the bench, um, filling in the gaps, bringing energy, um, playing defense. So nothing really has changed um, from the last games. That's really um, what I go for in every game. Fair enough. And uh, Brianna, for you. Um, for, uh, over the last two games, you guys have been in close games in the third quarter, but in these last two, your point differential in the fourth, you're now at plus 24, at least plus 10 in each of the last two games. What's been the key behind these closes over the past two? Um, I mean, I think it just continues to show our growth, obviously. Um, the way we execute down the stretch and, and really putting the team in it to take a tough shot, um, trying to give them like the long contested twos type of situation. And, um, knowing how important the fourth quarter is. Obviously, everyone is important, but we want to finish the game and finish it strong, and um, these points matter for Commissioner Cup. Appreciate your time, Insel. Safe travels to Congress. Lucas? 
Hello all, my one question is for Sandy. Um, over the last week, you've gotten really strong performances from KT, KB, and now Leo off the bench. Is, is the pro, uh, production kind of what you imagined when you talked about the versatility and length and, and offense off the bench? Is this what you imagined it would look like as we got further in the season? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, we, we like all our players on the bench and they've given us really um, productive minutes. You know, KT obviously got the start tonight, great energy, but Leia gave us a real good punch um, of the of the bench as well too. And, and that's good for us. We know that, uh, you know, we have a great starting five, but we've got a really reliable bench too. And, um, you know, as Leo said, they're getting more and more comfortable and that's a part of the journey as well too. And you just got to keep growing together. Thank you guys, safe travels. Russell. Hi everyone, uh, question is for Leo. Uh, you talked about how you're starting to get more comfortable now. Uh, just wondering, you know, you came here, new team, didn't have a whole lot of practice time to get going, had a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, what was it that, that has gotten you more comfortable and how do you think you're starting to take your stride now? Um, yeah, honestly, it's really hard to come into a new team without practices, basically, and with this schedule, we just play um, and don't really practice, but I think um, continuing to use every shoot around we get, um, even though it's without contact, just, you know, paying attention to every detail, watching film, um, doing your scouting, like all the little things um, really helped me to, to kind of get more comfortable. Thank you. Jim? Hi, uh, Leah. My first question for you. We see the rise of uh, European-based players in the NBA and now in the WNBA as well. How important is it for you to be referenced at uh, Europe when we see the growth of European basketball emerge in America? Uh, European. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Um, you know, it's always cool to come uh, come in as a European in this league. I don't think there is many. Um, it's something special and kind of also cool because people like players don't really know my game so I kind of you know can be a little bit sneaky um get some more shots off like more threes um so that that helps for sure and finally as uh, Sandy that brings your record now to the second best behind the Connecticut Sun as well what you contribute this really great start to the season down to yeah, look, I think it's about being resilient. Um, you know, we started off well four, and then we had two really bad losses, which was really uncharacteristic for us. But I think those losses help you grow as a team because you need to have those lessons. I would rather have them early um, about the way that we need to play, and it's a, it's a reminder if we don't come ready to play, anyone can beat anybody. Um, but, yeah, since then I think we've grown as a team and, um, you know, just continue. We've just got to keep uh, building on those connections because that really is our commitment. Gabe? Hey coach, this one's for you. Obviously for the past couple of weeks, the key word has been consistency throughout all four quarters. Tonight, you win all four quarters. How much does that matter to you in just the growth of this team? Yeah, I think that was, yeah, as I've told you a few times here, it's like, you know, leading into the Commissioner's Cup, it was, we played some good basketball. We haven't played our best basketball. Um, so, you know, we took the focus of let's just try and be more consistent minute from minute, uh, quarter to quarter, game to game. And, um, you know, we're getting better. We're, are we there yet? No. Um, but it's only, we're only 11 games in. But uh, I like I like the um, how intentional we are, how we're trying to execute the scout, how we're staying poised in when we face adversity. And that's areas I think that we've grown on from last year. Thank you. We'll finish with John. Yeah, uh, Coach, this is for you. You had uh, John Quell Jones and Sabrina score only 10 points tonight each, but your team still won by double digits. What does that say about the depth of your team? Yeah, I, th I think that says a lot. I mean, and that's how we're built um, any given night. Um, it could be someone else's night to score points, but everyone is important for the whole um, you know, overall uh, result of the team and, and doing their jobs. Um, and that's the luxury we have. We have some obviously really good players with, without two real key players as well too. But, um, you know, it's next man mentality. Let's play in the right way so we can get the win. Love it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.